go back to the channel. Um, this is update number six on the reimagined Battlestar Galactica build. Well, more like decaling because the build's complete. Um, so, a uh, fair amount of progress. I have finally successfully, com successfully completed both of the flight pods. Um, overall, decals, not really a problem to put on. They, um, there was a few fit issues with a couple of them, but nothing that couldn't be a little cut and trimming to fix it. Um, I do highly recommend, though, if you do these decals on this particular model kit, um, definitely cut as close to the or as close to the decal as possible and cut the carrier film off and um, you might have to do some fancy cutting and trimming to make some work but it's not that bad um, turned out really good let me get you a little closer here so you can kind of see I'm trying to get it to focus but it's not wanting to there it goes Come on. Yeah. So, um, like I said, overall, really great. These decals I do love because they definitely bring the detail up uh, several notches. Um, I cannot, I could not get this level of detail with paints or pastels, um, just because these decals all has all these little different shapes and colors and it just it really makes the model look just more to me more authentic um and their flight pod is identical to this one so what i did was after i got all the decals on i gave it a really healthy coat of microsol and i did that just to make sure that all the decals really uh shaped or, or conformed all the shapes and everything else which they did really well and then after that was done, I, I gave it a gloss coat. Um, and then I took an acrylic black wash, just basically craft paint watered down. Oh, and I gave it a very light wash. And then once it was dried, I gave it a flat coat or a matte coat. Um, this is not by testers, by the way. The flat matte coat I use is actually a Vallejo. And I'll show it to you here real quick. Um, it's this stuff right here. Oops. Um, I haven't bought a replacement bottle in quite some time, but I got this a long time ago, and I it very it a little goes a long way. Um, it's very thick, so you have to dilute with water. But you put some water in there and shoot through your airbrush, and it really goes a long way. And it's a matte acrylic varnish by Vallejo. Um, I give it a coat of that, and it. It lightened up the decals a lot too. Um, if you, for a comparison, these are the ones that have not been dull coated yet. See how dark they are. And then these are the ones that are after dull coating, considerably lighter. So I, I like how it lightens up because to me, I can see more of the detail than I can in this one. I mean, I can see the detail here, but in a dark environment, it's it almost disappears. Uh, where on this one, on the flight pod, even in a dark environment, I can plainly see all the different colors and shapes in the uh, decals. So, very good there. And, you know, would I do this again? Probably. Um, just because the level of detail is just exquisite. Um, so, yes, I would definitely do it again. Um, so, that's the, those are the flight pods. And uh, as you saw here on the main body, so far I have, um, I, I don't want to say halfway done, more like a quarter of the way done. So I got the decals all along the inside of the outcoves here on both sides. This is where the flight pods um, go into right before they jump. And then I got the lower half, this half of the lower jaw decaled on both sides and the middle and then I got the upper jaw underneath all finished up I still have yet to do all the back and all the top but that's <laughs> another project later um, so anyway yeah that, that's how I'm going that's the progress on the Galactica it's coming along and like I said it, it definitely is really looking good um, 
I really can't wait to be finished with this so I can actually attach the flight pods to this thing and light it up and get it on the stand. Um, but for right now, I'm just taking my time with these decals. I'm not rushing them. I'm doing a little at a time and then calling it quits. Uh, just so I don't lose my sanity. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I am also working on another kit, and I'll be doing a video, a separate video on this. I'm working on the, uh, get in the frame there, the 57 Chevy Nomad. Um, and I'm doing the custom version, which is what you see on the box. So, um, I have not got a video yet on this, but I'm going to be putting out a, a video here shortly on the progress of what I've done so far with this car. I will be lighting the car up with the interior lights and headlights and tail lights. And uh, so far it's, it's looking good and I'm really happy with it. I did do some custom work on the engine though, um, which again, I will show all that in my, my video for it. Um, also, I'd like to give a big shout out to um, Florentino. He's a fellow model builder and YouTuber, YouTube creator. Um, if you have not checked the channel out, I highly recommend it. He is a very talented uh, model builder and in engineer. And I do mean very talented. Um, his channel has got some really awesome content and some really cool builds that uh, just amazed me by watching them. So if you have not checked the channel out, I highly recommend it. You will not be disappointed. I will leave a link to his channel in my description below. So if you get a chance, head on over there, check out his stuff. Great content. You will love it. Um, also, I'd like to tell, I'd like to say thank you, Florentino, for showing one of my videos um, on your channel and one of your videos you have put out. I really do appreciate that. And um, you're just, you're awesome. You really are. And you're very talented. So with that being said, um, I'm going to get back to work on the Galactica now. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank all my subscribers. Um, if you guys have any questions or can comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Until next time, be safe. And I'll talk to you all later.